I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me. And if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes. I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging. And if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing and means so much to me. So I hope you'll help me out. Today we have a Mumu unboxing. Now, yes, I know I have Louis Vuitton up behind me. It's because I have a Louis Vuitton video that I have to film two videos after this. Um, so I have thrown those bags up behind me and I don't have any handbags from Mumu. This is my very first handbag from Mumu. I have boots, motorcycle boots in black and brown and I love them. So comfortable, brilliant boots. Love them, love them, love them. Can't rave about them enough. Um, but this is the very first time I've ever bought a bag. And I will be perfectly honest, there are several other things I want from Mew Mew. Out of nowhere, this brand has suddenly like popped its head up and gone, hi, we're over here. You like things from here. And I'm like, yes, I do. There are quite a few things that I like from there. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of stuff in there that is still not my style. They've had styles around for years and I'm looking at it going, not so much. Um, but at the moment, there's summer stuff that they've got out. Um, yeah, there's, there's a, there's a few things there that I would like. Um, their shoes are great. So yeah, it's definitely a brand that you might see pop up on my channel from time to time. Um, we'll see what further seasons come. Um, this might be just an anomaly and a one-off season that I've gone. This one really speaks to me and I never buy anything else, but you know, maybe we'll see. We'll see what comes going forward. So let's unbox what I bought after my um, little vlog, shopping vlog I did the other day. So if you haven't seen my shopping vlog, I'll link it down below because I actually try this bag on in store. So once I unbox it, if you go, I really like that, but I wonder what it looks like on, go watch my shopping vlog because I do actually try it on in store for you. So you can see what it looks like on me. So I'm five foot four, um, about an Australian size 10 to 12 at the moment. Um, and it just gives you an understanding of what it looks like on that size person. So let's get it out of the dust bag. As soon as I, out of the bag, as soon as I take it out of the bag, you're going to know, those of you who watched the shopping vlog will know exactly which bag it is. So it comes in a very big bag um, and it does not have a box. And I don't know if Mew Mew usually box bags. Someone who has bought another handbag before let me know. And they just didn't have a box big enough for this bag, which gives you a hint. Um, but it didn't come with a box. So it just comes in a very big dust bag, pink dust bag. Um, it's a Mew Mew dust bag. I don't know if it says Mew Mew anywhere on the dust bag doesn't appear to oh no there it is on the bottom it has the Mew Mew tag there so you can see it peeking out so you all know what it is if you watch my shopping vlog but let's get it out nonetheless oh there we go and it is ah, the tote the massive massive tote so I saw this online and loved it the second I saw it and I was desperate to get into store to see it in person. And as soon as I saw it in person, I loved it. So what I'm going to do is take the packaging out. <laughs> and now you can see what it's like. So um, it's distressed. So it's in this dark brown distressed lived in look. And I love it. It's a little bit rock and roll. And I love that about it smells amazing it is all leather it says mew mew on the front but it's tone on tone so it's not in your face and you can always swing it around if you want has these great straps it is so light it is incredibly light it is all lined in just like a canvasy finish and it's got a zipper on that side and it's got a zipper on that side so you get zip compartments on both sides i I'm just, I'm so in love with this bag. I can't even tell you. I love the distressed look of it. They also do it in a shiny black finish. So if you don't like the distressed look, I love the shoulder drop on it. I love how comfortable it is. I love everything about it. Now, I have got with me my GM Never Full from Louis Vuitton, which is usually the bag I travel with. So I have grabbed this because I want the insert that's in it and we're going to see how we go with the insert so oh, let's just do a quick comparison so you guys can see oh, many big bags happening here at the moment so this is a neverfull and this is my new mew tote 
So let's put one in front of the other. So they are pretty much exact. The strap trop is almost exactly the same, but the handy thing about the Miu Miu one is it has this crescent that goes down, which gives your underarm more space. In terms of bottoms of them, they're almost exactly the same. So I feel like my organizer oh, from my Louis Vuitton Neverfull might actually fit this. So let's give it a go. So this is my organizer. It's a lightweight one. Oh. Let's see how we go here. And um, that, ladies and gentlemen, is called success. Look. Perfect. Perfect, it is absolutely perfect. So you can put an organizer in it, give it a little bit more structure. It is still light with the organizer. It is lighter than the Louis Vuitton canvas. It just is. I, <laughs> oh, look out, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, I'm gonna take this to New York with me when I go as my carry-on bag. So I'm not gonna take my Neverfull. Shock horror. I'm not gonna take my Neverfull. I'm gonna take the Mew Mew Tote. I feel like this bit just fits so much better under my arm. It gives me a little bit more room. I love that it's more lightweight. I love that the um, handles on this are gonna be a little bit more forgiving on my shoulder because they are rounded. So they are rounded leather instead of um, canvas, which is flat and has hard edges. I love that it is already distressed, so I'm not gonna be worried about it. I think I might. I think I might have found an alternative to the Louis Vuitton GM Neverfull. Now, still love my, Nev my GM Neverfulls. I have five of them, five. Love them all. I have. I think the Neverfull is a classic. I don't think it's going anywhere. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant bag. I think the canvas is hard wearing. Cannot speak the praises of Louis Vuitton Neverfulls more, but i got to say, I really love this. So different purposes and not everybody's going to love this bag and that's fine. Um, it's in terms of cost, I don't think it's that different to a Neverfull. Let's find out. Okay, so currently on the Louis Vuitton website, a GM Neverfull in the monogram finish is $3,150. This bag was $4,350. So we're looking at a difference of $1,200, which yes, is a lot of money. The Louis Vuitton Neverfull is canvas. This is leather, absolute leather. So that's, I mean, if we look at what the leather Neverfulls go for, so a leather MM Neverfull is $4,650. So yeah, once you get out of canvas or just the black um, on prompt leather one is $4,050. And that's the MM size, so it's not as big as this. So absolutely, I feel it's compa it's comparable. Like, yes, the Neverfull in the canvas is cheaper. I understand that, but it is canvas and this is leather. So that's something to bear in mind. But if you've been looking for something that is around the size of a Neverfull and you haven't wanted to buy a Neverfull for whatever reason, it doesn't speak to you, you don't like it, you don't like the canvas, whatever, then can I suggest the Miu Miu Tote. Now they do this in also a whole range of fabrics for summer at the moment and one of them I really like, it's stripy, um, but they also do this in black and this is obviously the distressed finish that I love, but not everyone will. Um, yes, I suggest getting an insert for it because it is canvas on the inside so it can get marked, but I'm so in love with this bag. I just can't even tell you. And it just came out of nowhere for me. Like Miu Miu has just been a brand that has just kind of like smacked me in the face and gone, hello, we are here, pay attention to us. So there are at least another three bags in Miu Miu that I really love from the current collection. There are shoes, there are sunglasses. I'm really impressed with Miu Miu at the moment. Now that might change with the seasons changing. Maybe next season I'll look at it and go, oh my God, what, there's nothing in here that I like. And that's cool. I'm not saying it's going to come in as another brand that I collect a lot from. I am just saying currently 
this season really speaks to me and I really love it. So this is the first unboxing. I have no doubt there will be further Miu Miu unboxings on my channel because there are a few things that I want for my upcoming trip to New York. Um, and they have summer stock at the moment, which suits me. So there might be a couple more Miu Miu unboxings to come and then we'll see what the current, the seasons um, coming are like after that and whether or not they, you know, suit my needs as much as this current one. But for now, loving my tote loving 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 my tote bag so stay tuned um watch me travel i think i'm pretty confident it's coming with me as my bag but my carry-on bag with my carry-on suitcase so yes i am in love it is basically a gm never full in leather with a slightly i'm gonna call it better design doesn't have a pouch Someone's going to ask me, does not have a pouch. So yes, the Neverfalls come with the extra little pouch. This does not have a pouch. That's fine. I've got plenty of pouches. I have so many pouches that I can put in that. So no worries there. So that is what I picked up on my shopping vlog. If you didn't see my shopping vlog, then it'll be linked down below. So you can go check it out if you want to see what it looks like on me as I model it and stand up. Or maybe I've piqued your interest about Miu Miu. I did try on a few other bags while I was there. So by all means, go and check out that vlog so you can see what else Miu Miu has at the moment. What do you love? It? What do you think of Miu Miu? Tell me what you guys think of Miu Miu. Is it a brand that is just like nowhere on your radar? Or is it a brand that you've always loved? Or am I piquing your interest now and you're going, actually, I need to go check that out. So let me know your thoughts on Miu Miu. I'm really interested to share um, thoughts down below in the comments, guys. If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I upload videos, which is usually twice a week. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection and my day-to-day -day life. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.